Hey, what do we got here? I got a couple of uh, high-grade U.S. large currency notes that I've been collecting. This is a 1918 series Federal Reserve note, and this is a $500 1882 gold note. Whoa, um, these are a little bit more than just high grade, especially this one right here, the $500 gold certificate. There's not a lot of these left in the world. This was an incredible amount of money at the time. I mean, this is a year or two salary for most people. It would be very difficult to get change. <laughs> <laughs> The notes that I've got are considered to be uh, pretty rare, just like artwork. But uh, at some point, you just want to move on or find something else to do. I'm really looking for $50,000 for the pair of notes. $40,000 is the least I'm really willing to sell them for. Yeah, these are incredible. Thank you. There's probably less than 100 of each of them in the world. I mean, they were shredded. Just like, you know, when we have a bad $1 bill today, you know, it eventually ends up back at the Federal Reserve, and they shred the uh, old ones and print new ones. Right. This was 1882. There was a gold sh shortage at the Treasury right around that time. They issued a lot of paper bills like this, especially when this one was made. I mean, we still lived in a world where people really didn't want paper money because paper money was just a receipt for gold. Right. But it had advantages. First off, it's a lot less bulky than carrying around gold coins. And the other advantage of this was if you were traveling, say, in a stagecoach somewhere and you were robbed, you now had a traceable document instead of some gold coins in your pocket, which were not traceable at all. Makes good sense. So how much you want for these? I'd like to get 33,000 for this note, and I'd like to get 17,000 for this note. So I'd like to get even $50,000 for them. OK. I want one of my friends to come down here and look at it. But he deals in this stuff almost exclusively. Sure, sure. They look real to me, but there's a lot of treatments people do on these things to make them look better. Understood. OK. So hang out a few minutes, and I'll get him down here. OK. All right, be right back. What do we have here today? You know, two $500 bills that he wants a lot of money for. And um, the big thing is, is have they been processed and what are they worth? Sure. Um, may I take them out of the holder? Sure. These are incredible items. They're not common by no means. Uh, I'll tell you right now, my favorite one out of the, both of these is this 1918 500 features Chief Justice John Marshall, who essentially helped create the Supreme Court to be co-equal to our government. Pretty historical uh, individual. Gold certificates were issued in a time where they were backed by gold. Because weight of gold was quite heavy, the government issued paper currency to alleviate some of the stress of carrying it. And it also allowed the government to keep some of their gold medals in the banks and have public debt carry the certificates instead. All right, well, tell me about these things. Sure. This 1918 500 Federal Reserve note this note looks problem-free, meaning has no tears, rust, inks. It definitely has never been pressed. It's got just light circulation. It's a really, really solid example, and it would fall in the very fine 30 range. This is a, a genuine, high-valued example. Can you and I disagree without being disagreeable? Sure. I do think it grades higher than that between us. I get that quite often. <laughs> I get that quite often. Now, the 1882 500 gold certificate, this one concerns me. Um, this has seen some restoration work uh, quite well. The corners look like they've been rebuilt. At, during that time, it was probably washed lightly, not too harsh, and would probably grade this in the via, very fine 20 to 25 range, but it has been restored. OK, and that affects value. It absolutely up to about 30 to 40%. OK, so what do you think they'll go for? Individually, uh, I think in auction, I would expect the 1918 $500 Federal Reserve note to bring twenty to $30,000. And the 1882 $500 gold certificate, because of the grade and the restoration work, uh, in auction, I think one could expect to pay around $20,000. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Anytime. Good Thank luck. Thank you. Thank you for your help. If Rick can negotiate a deal uh, for these two notes in that price range, I think it's a very good buy, considering the scarcity of them. So what's the best price you'll take for them? Well, I'd like to get 50000 for the two of them. Well, you seem like a reasonable businessman. You know, I'm not going to pay 50000 for something I might get 50 out of. All right. Hey, what can you do? I bet 40 There's no money at 40 37? No, I'll go 35. I mean, there's auction fees. There's, I mean, in the end, it makes no sense for me to give you a dime more than that. All right, you got a deal. Oh, sweet, man. Um, let's go up front, and I'll write you up. These are cool. The offer of $35,000 
is a little bit on the low side, but it's, it's a fair offer. And right now, I'm just going to leave it in the bank account.